you are going to set a daily method of operation. Look at it right here. I'm not playing. See, you can't see because I'm a little blurred, but see, daily method of operation. It's <laughs> kind of hard to see, but <laughs> okay. Daily method of operation of attraction marketing. Okay. Now I have this sheet for myself. Okay. But if you like, I will give you a copy of this to help you. Okay. So every day, this is what you do part of your daily method operation. When you want to connect with strangers to grow your following and your connections on Facebook, you got to be really, really consistent on this. Okay. So your posts, you want to attract the people based on the types of posts that you are creating. Okay. You want to be able to post daily. You want to make sure you're definitely sending out them happy birthdays. Yes, you got to do those happy birthdays. They make it a lot easier now with mobile, okay? So you can definitely do happy birthday very easily. Send those birthday wishes to people uh, that, are our, that are on your friends list, okay? Currently, this will help. Then you also want to create a consistent addition of 10 to 20 people, okay? New folks, people that are in the industry, looking at you, people that are hanging around the same circles, all right? Because our vibe attracts our tribe. So if you're hanging around affiliate marketers, then go and find other affiliate marketers. That's what we're trying to say to you, right? There's no different than when you're a network marketing and you want to look for customers for your network marketing business. Are you going to go and just get everybody within three feet of you? Mm -hmm. No, it's different when it comes to online. It's more like go find other people who are interested in network marketing. Well, you can get targeted. <laughs> you can yeah. get targeted with that example. Let me chime in here. Yeah. With that example, as far as for network marketers, you can get very targeted, right? Mm -hmm. You could really go after like, um, you know, different keywords as far as different companies. Yes. And then find those followers of that company and explains how to solve those problems. Yes. So, you know, having. 10 to 20 people targeted friend requests. Okay. And when you send out these friend requests, make sure you're really looking at their profiles and look at the last five posts and make sure they're interesting. They're, there's something within the niche. You know, if there, you see success quotes, you see something about entrepreneurism, if you see something about opening a business or working for themselves or self-employment, that's it. Those are the type of people you want to add to your friends list. Okay. Uh, people that are involved with, with uh, direct sales, affiliate marketing, network marketing, self-employed people, real estate, people that are involved in real estate. Believe it or not, real estate owners, <laughs> people, real estate agents are kind of the best network marketers out there. They're very professional and they're A-types. <laughs> yes. Right, and, Rich? Yep. You don't have to worry about convincing them. You don't worry about convincing yeah. these guys. They know about, you know, multiplication of income. <laughs> um, okay. Then when you add these friend requests, be sure to send a message, okay? Be kind and gentle in your message. Don't be salesy. Don't be spammy. Don't need to send out sales links. Just say, hey, I was taking a look at your profile and find something that's a common interest with that profile to connect with them. Like if I go to your profile and I see you've been a nurse for so many years, and let's say I have, you know, I have a passion for nursing, then that's something we can discuss. See, that's a common interest, yes. right? Or maybe somebody is a, you know, is a guy and, you know, your husband does golfing. He's like, you know what? How long you been golfing? You know, you know, how many holes you been hitting? You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> you want to have a common interest to talk about. Did you ever have a hole in one? <laughs> exactly, right? Um, stay active. And when you look at your newsfeed, make sure you don't got a lot of garbage on your newsfeed. If you got a lot of salesy, salesy, salesy type pitches and stuff going on, those are the wrong people. You need to unfriend them and unfollow because they are showing up in your newsfeed. OK, I got all this and more on my daily method of operation checklist. This is it right here. This keeps me accountable. I stick to this and it really does help. Like I said, I got more on it. I even got weekly, monthly and quarterly things to do with my DMO. This is my own personal daily method operation. I can give you a copy of it. All you got to do is hit me up. Let me know and I will send this to you.